So first off, I'm just gonna heat up everything with a hair dryer to um, one make the plastic here softer, so I can actually pull the head off. Because old Toy Biz figure, you couldn't really pop the heads off, just like on um, modern Hasbro figures. And uh, also, if I heat this up, the glue that holds this feather collar in place is probably gonna loosen up a little bit, which uh, means I can pry it off. So I think by now it's been approximately a minute or so, and let's see. Yeah, this head is really soft now. So, ow, it's really hot. So just quick, ah! Oh, whoops, there come the entire neck. Ah! It's really hot. So, got my pliers. And see if I can just... Ah! There we go. And you see how tiny this little joint is, so... Um, uh, this little peg hole is, and there's no way that's gonna fit in the Hasper body, so we're gonna have to do some surgery there. As for this collar, can I take that? Yeah, yeah, glue softened up, so I can just take it off. So, now, trash. So let's take a look at the Hasbro Vulture. So head just goes off. Um, as you can see, there's absolutely no way this hole is gonna fit. And the skin tone isn't gonna work either, but we don't really have to worry about that at the moment. As for this collar, Ooh, I like the way that looks. However, it sits way too high because of these bits. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take my Games Workshop hobby knife and we're gonna cut these off. And as you can see, I am very clearly cutting towards myself. And I'm doing that because I am stupid and you shouldn't do that. There we go, because if the knife slips, it's probably going to go straight into your thumb in this case, and it's going to bleed a lot, and you might have to go to the ER, which I've thankfully never had to do quite yet, but if I keep doing this, I probably will at some point, and I'm not looking forward to that. There we go. Look at that nice lime green plastic. So. Why did they cast this in lime green when they just could have casted it in white? I don't get you, Toy Biz. I just don't get you. So, which way was the front in the original? Was it that way, or was it...? I think I need to refer to the video again. I think it's that way. Anyway. So, with this drill bit, I've um, measured out that this peg is about 8 millimeters wide. So we take an 8mm drill bit, like this one, and we put it in here, and we just carefully drill. So after all that, the hole has been made, and the head is... Oh dear. Oh, I made the hole a little bit too wide. Uh, no matter, we can fix this easily. We just... Um, put some plastic in here and then we should be fine. As for this collar, I really like it, but I think we can make it align to the body a little bit more. And what we're gonna do for that is we're gonna thin this out so I can actually bend it. And then um, I'm gonna apply some heat to it and then some, uh, I'm gonna bend it into shape and then I'm gonna put some cold water in it so it stays like that. And uh, yeah, so this is my rotary tool. If the camera can focus on it maybe and uh, when I do this it starts spinning really fast so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grind down the inside of this then and I'm gonna do this off camera because this is a really uncomfortable angle okay so we are back and uh, as you can see I've grinded down the inside of this so it's a lot thinner uh, it's still not really all that bendable though um, but we're gonna fix that hopefully so I'm gonna put this I'm gonna show you what I'm trying to do here So you see how much this collar sticks out here. Uh, I'm gonna make it try to um, I'm gonna try to make it lay a little bit flatter. So what we're gonna do again is gonna we're gonna heat this up with a hairdryer And now it's become all soft and bendy so what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take this headphones off and we're gonna run to the bathroom I should have prepared this in advance, to be honest, but oh well, what can you do? And we're gonna hold them like how we want it, now we're just gonna put it under the water. Ah, it's so hot! And now, it stays like this. 
Perfect. So the next step here is I've heated up my glue gun and uh, I'm gonna put some plastic over here just to protect the joint. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill this up with some hot glue and then I'm gonna pop it on there and then um, the glue is gonna cool down around this joint so it becomes like a perfect snug fit. So first thing you need to be really fast with this so just a bit of glue in there. Now quick, Shh. crap, crap, crap. I might have messed it up already. Yeah, I messed up. I was too slow. Uh. But fear not. The thing about hot glue is that it's actually not very durable at all when it comes to how easy it is to just remove. Like, it's durable if you use it to make, like, a joint, like um, I'm trying to do. But it's pretty easy to just get off like this. Okay, so attempt number two. This time I've uh, put some added security into it. I've just wrapped some tape around uh, the plastic just to hold it in place. So once again, we put some glue in there and then quickly just... So finally, here is the final result. Obviously, these skin tones don't, they're not even close to matching, but otherwise, I mean, I really like how the color turned out. I think that looks really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he surely, he certainly looks sinister, I guess. I'm probably going to glue these wings in. Like, that looks good. Like, flying. I mean, it's, it's a lot more of a classic Steve Ditko type vulture. I mean, this head sculpt is just gorgeous otherwise. He also comes with this one, but I find it... It's also got, like, this ugly paint smudge here, but I just find it so... It doesn't really have any personality, this one. Like, it could be any generic old man, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> now I'll teach you a lesson, insect! Goodbye, Spider-Man! I'm afraid you've reached the end of the road!